on, Ted. Good boy. Sit, 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 sit. Howdy, folks. How are we doing? Ted's back. Well, he ain't gone anywhere. Just you ain't seen him for a while. Ted, come here. Come here. Good boy. Sit. Paul. Where's Paul's? Where's Paul's? Good boy. You can tell he's a collie, can't you? You're an idiot. You're a big idiot, ain't you? Yes, you're an idiot. Damn. Damn. Sit. Sit. Good boy. He's an idiot, but he's lovely. Wouldn't be without him. Right. Don't go wandering off. Sit down. Sit. 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 Stay there. Right. What we're looking at today is some rear lights, some LED rear lights. You know how I love LED lights. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got some rear lights specifically today. And I'll tell you why, because like, when you're drawing a plough behind a tractor down the road, they're a long old bit of kit and they never come with lights on the back. Never come with lights on the back. And we've actually got about four bits of kit um, that have either not got lights or require a lighting board. And of course, the plow, we've got two plows. We've got a uh, sub flat lift, uh, the combine header, and the drill. Now, the combine header and the drill, they both have got um, lighting boards. The other stuff got nothing at all, um, which ain't really good enough, is it, to be fair, this day and age. Um, I mean, I have got a, a wired lighting rig with magnetic lights. I don't know where it is at the minute, but I've got it somewhere. But it's a faff, and it? You've got the cable on it and everything. Where's Ted gone? Ted! Come on! He might have gone to sit in the van. He likes sitting in the van. Right, anyway, let's have a look what we've got. As you can see, it's from Cramp, who I was on about um, in a few videos ago. I was bathing, I think. Let me get into this thing. It's all stuck down. Uh -huh. Like so. This is what we got from Cramp. These are wireless ones. That's the big difference. You haven't got that blooming wire to try and lose um, down your machine. Uh, it just makes it so much easier. So let's have a look. Nice little instruction booklet. Pretty simple. That's enough of that. Right. So this is what we've got. Two lights, magnetic mounts, and that. That's just that's your little uh, transmitter. So you plug that in the back of your tractor, whatever, and that just sends a signal uh, to the lights, and that's it. Simples. Another useful uh, application of these lights is, of course, the plow. I mean very few plows if any especially mounted ones like this they don't come with lights on them or anything like that and um you know i've used lighting boards with wires before and it's a pain because of course you've got to lose the wire all up there and then you've got to take it off when you get to the um when you get to the field because you won't be able to turn it over without destroying your wire that's not the no worries with these ones There we go. So put him on there. Let's be right hand one. Like so. Um in real trouble, there's no way ideal to put that. So we'll put him there, but at least we've got two lights on there then and that um does just help the job along, doesn't it? Like, you know, it just gives people a bit more chance and of course when I get to the field I ain't got to untangle a blooming 10 metre cable just turn them off take them back in the cab and the job's good and easy and safe right let's get out of here so 
Simple as that. See that one. That's all off. Simple as that. I can go back in their case now till uh, I'm ready to go home. Whip them back out again. And jobs are good. Oh, I'll get this ploughed up now. That's about 12 acres, something like that. Keep you busy for a few hours. Oh, right, that's me finished ploughing. Stick my old lights back on. And it's just so easy, like I said before. Can't get much easier, can you, really? Put you on there, that's the left one, that's the right one. Like so, you on there. Go a new one. There you are. Dub's good and nice and safe. Right, that's another 12 acres ploughed. Head back to the yard now and uh, see what's left to do. I'll tell you one thing, I'm getting peckish. Bit of luck, we should uh, we should have some lights. Side lights, hazards. No, I'll not turn that one on. There you go. See now how smart does that look? Um and as you can see, these are the dynamic ones, so they've got the, the strobe effect indicator on them. They're smart lights. So easy to do as well. So easy to do. Um, yeah, and you can just whip them again off when you get to the field or whatever. If you're doing something filthy, you know, and they're going to get dirty, you can just put them back in the box until you need them to get home. So they really are a nice, easy, simple thing to do. No wires. They don't take up any room, you know, your box is tiny, so they're bloody good little bits of kit. And like I say, we've got um, a few other bits that uh, they'll, you know, these will go on and will be very useful. So I would certainly recommend trying these out. These are cramped, actually cramped own lights. And like I say, you'll agree they are pretty, pretty damn smart.